So this is a follow-up video to my last one about the voice commands on the new update. And a lot of people were asking if it still worked just as well when you're driving and also other commands other than the open glove box. So I am now driving and I am going to start doing a few commands, whatever I can think of and see how well it works. Of course, I have to actually be driving. So give me one second. Here we go. All right, so let's start with a few easy things. Um, set temperature to 70 degrees. Okay, that worked. Play songs by Michael Jackson. Okay. So it's finding songs by Michael Jackson. So that seems to be working. Um, what else do we have? Um, turn on the passenger's heated seat. Hey, okay. it worked. So as we can see, everything seems to be working just fine even while I'm driving. Uh, I know that some people said that the headlights didn't work. I don't think that's part of it yet. Let's try it, but I don't think they've turned that on. Turn on the headlights. This command is not available yet. Okay, so that command is not available, but at least it recognized it just fine, and I'm driving, so... Eh, so far, so good. It seems like uh, even while driving, it doesn't seem to have any problems hope this helps and again as you can see I'm just talking normally not yelling at it and because I've seen a lot of people go maybe I'll try yelling at it let me see I'm gonna try yelling at it and see if it works um, what did we say turn off passenger heated seat oh well it's okay so my car doesn't mind if you yell at it <laughs> so maybe I was wrong on that it seems to be fine, so I don't know. Maybe mine works, it doesn't work for some people. Either way. Navigate to 2250 Front Street, Melbourne, Florida. Now it doesn't work. Do it again. Navigate to 2250 Front Street, Melbourne, Florida. And I think I found out what when it works and when it doesn't because a couple of times it hasn't worked for me and i'm realizing that when it doesn't work you notice that lte here display which is basically the strength of the signal that you have on your car if it's on three bars or less it's not gonna like it at all so for example right now it's on three bars on two bars it doesn't work at all so it's on three bars let's see navigate to 2250 front street yeah, see it doesn't like that at all so because it won't work because I've got three bars on the LT now I've got four bars let's try it navigate to 2250 Front Street navigate to 2250 Front Street Melbourne for you to, yeah, there it goes so I think that has to do with the strength of the signal that you have on the LTE. Uh, see, right now I've got four bars. Turn on the passenger front heated seats. See, and it works fine, and it because again I've got four bars. If it starts going down to three bars or less, it seems that it's communicating. It's not stored in the actual car itself, so it has to communicate back that information before it can send it back. So I think that's where the problem is and where most people are getting their problems from. So again, uh, more than welcome to try it yourself and let me know what you find out as well. Put in the comment section below. Hit subscribe if you like my videos and um, hopefully we can find a solution to this. But I think that may be uh, why this is happening worse for some people. 
Thanks for watching.